Hi kids, what do you know about the parts of a plant? Well, we know a plant has a stem, right? We know a plant a lot of times has a flower, right? And sometimes plants will have a fruit, right? Well, and usually they have leaves, right? What does a plant have that grows under the ground that you can't see but is really important to the plant? The plant has roots, right? The roots go under the ground and that's how the plant gets all its nutrients and water from the soil so it can grow, right? So the roots are very important to the plant. Are there any roots that you eat? That sounds really silly, right? Why would we eat roots? Well, do you know any vegetables that grow under the ground? What about carrots? We eat the root part of the carrot plant. That's the part that grows underground, right? Radishes are another one. And also potatoes, any kind of potato, a regular white potato or a sweet potato. Today we're going to do a little experiment. Now, this is not an experiment that's going to just be really quick and you'll see results right away. You're going to have to be patient and it may take several weeks to see the results of your experiment. Do you think you can have enough patience for that? It's kind of fun because you can just kind of observe weekly what changes. So pick a day of the week to check the changes of your experiment and then you're going to record them. You're going to draw a picture, okay? So here's what you're going to do. In your bag you have a little cup. It looks like this. You also have some toothpicks, right? You're going to ask your parents to give you a piece of a potato, okay? Like this little sweet potato I have. And you're going to put your toothpicks in so that you have them sticking out like this on each side. And then you're gonna take your cup and you're gonna fill it with water. You wanna have enough water so that when you set your potato in, the bottom of your potato is in the water like that. But the toothpicks will keep it from completely falling into the water. Does that make sense? You're gonna leave that somewhere, maybe in a sunny spot, right? And then you're just going to wait. You're going to come back to it in a week. And on this strip, you can draw a picture of how your potato looks after one week. And then the next week, and then the third week, and then the fourth week. So four weeks of watching your potato grow. And what do you think is going to happen? Your prediction. Make a prediction about what you think will happen to the potato. And then pay attention. Come back and look at it each week. See if any changes happen. And hopefully they will. And let me know if they do, because it'll be pretty fun. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye for now.